Hey, welcome back to the lumber yard, guys. I'm Jerry from Bigelow Woodcraft. And I'm gonna try this bucking table for slabs today. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I'm still burning firewood in West Michigan. It is the end of April, probably around April 25th, I believe. But we've still got the cold nights and I don't wanna buy propane if I don't have to, right? Uh, then the only thing I use my propane for is my water heater in the summer, my stove, and my dryer. In the wintertime, my hot water is taken care of with a boiler, and probably the hot water tank is my biggest expense. I will use, I'll fill, I have a 250-gallon tank of propane. I'll fill, get that filled up. In fact, I got a fill coming. I'm at about 15%. So the next few days I'll be filling it up. I'm about 15%. That will get me until through next year at this time. I'll be at 80% after they fill me up. I'll start using it this summer for the hot water. And by this fall, I'll be at 50, 40, 40 to 50%, maybe even 30%. And we've used very little of it during the winter time. So I'm going to keep burning probably for another week or two until all these slabs are burned up. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure if I'll burn that long. I'm really getting, my wood stove needs to be cleaned really bad too. But I have a pile this big and I have the same size pile again over there. So let's get this going. I've got the 362 out today, the steel. And uh, we're going to just see how it, I'm afraid these are going to slide all over the place. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna take this one down. So our firewood weapon of choice today is gonna to be the 362. My wood stove can handle up the four foot with no problem, but I'm gonna cut these at 20 inches, just makes it easier picking them up. Gives you an idea of what it looks like. I got four by fours here. I got some stops and everywhere they're open is where you cut. And then I'll just throw them in the trailer here. So let's see how this goes.
That was easy. I like that. Let's load it up. I'm still going to have to hand shovel them, though, into the trailer, aren't I? So you might be asking, why do I do it this way? Why not burn the wood that I just put in the shed? Because that's next year's wood. I like to make hay when the sun shines and I'm gonna burn out of the trailer until these slabs are gone. I got them all cut up. I've got this whole box filled up, eight, four by eight by two feet tall, close to a half a cord and probably close to a face cord in that box. So not quite a cord of wood here, but that way I'm not burning into next year's. Now that wood room will get me through an entire year. But you know, I like to save some in case there's an emergency or I'm injured or somebody gets hurt, we can't you know, get out and cut wood. This way, that is full, I'll burn out of this. Usually I'm done burning by now, uh, usually about on the 1st of April. But like I said, it's April 25th or 26th, somewhere right around there. And we're still getting down into the 20s at night. so. I don't want to run my furnace if I don't have to. 
However, it's supposed to be almost 80 Sunday, so I'll probably be running the furnace and the air conditioner at the same time. So I'm going to throw a few logs in here, or slabs, I should say. My wood stove is up to temperature. It's 177, and it's on the cooling cycle coming down now. So this will be it most likely. And then I'll just start stockpiling slabs for next year. You know, nothing's better in, than seeing a full wood room full of wood. It's so good for your mental health. That's another reason I don't want to put a hole in that pile of wood in there. There's 18 to 20 cords inside that building right now. I don't want to touch it. All right, guys. We'll see you at the lumberyard next time.